Hey guys, what up? So, welcome to my tutorial. Today I will be doing a tutorial on how to paint a vampire count script ghoul. And that's exactly what he is. So, for those of you who did not see my unboxing video, you can see the box right here. Okay? It's the front of it. That's what it says. Count crypt vampire counts crypt ghouls. Okay? In many different languages in case you're interested. So yeah, that's the box. Okay. Now there are actually more than four ways no, three ways, sorry, of painting these people, these ghouls. The first method is the method I did. Um I actually changed it a bit because if you noticed, um here they are actually supposed to look um, like this. Um, oh, hang on, I'll show you a better picture. Um, they're supposed to look like, hang on, here we are. There, okay. Um, and these look, uh, he looks a lot lighter, doesn't he? Um, he looks a lot lighter than him. Um, so, um, I will also mention the stage on what you should do if you want to make him look lighter just like on the box but personally I think this looks a bit more natural and very scary looking so if you were against your opponent your opponent would probably take another look at it so it is actually a bit scarier than the um, I went for the more gothic dark style but um, that's my own style you can choose to copy it or whatever so then there's another way to paint it which is very bruised skin so it's all purples um and they're, they're all like purple wash leather and purple on denim stone so it's like purple wash on denim stone well denim stone's actually a um, color just so you know it's a hang on i'll tell you in a second it's a foundation paint so yeah i know you didn't need to know that but anyway um, and it's all kind of bruised and battered and yeah then the last way of painting it is a more um, zombie-ish look you know what I mean like more like more of, like the blood looking and the very unhealthy look with the the lots of auger and flesh wash um washed over denim stone to make it that kind of dead look you know like very unhealthy kind of rotten disgusting look to it so pretty much like something that looks a bit like that a bit like that no more like that actually no yeah more like those two um and yeah so Today, as you can see, this is my method, um, and I will um, bring you through all the stages so you know how to paint this guy. So let's just move him out of view and go to the colours now. So what you'll be needing is, surprise, surprise, Deneb Stone. Um, um, now, denim stone is if you have um, what should we call it? Um, bones that you need to paint. If you have any bones on your model, I don't have any bones on my model. Um, but if you do, you want to paint all the bones or skeletons or in denim stone. So yeah, if you don't have any bones, then you don't need it. Um, then a wash which is batter black come on focus please focus here we are yeah batter black then fortress grey you can also choose codex grey but I'm going with fortress grey astromachan grey Oops. 
bleach bone this is also for bones but you can also use this for kind of unhealthy pus type of color if you want I'll, I'll show you how to use it of course so yeah bleached bone calvin brown this is a good one these are for the bindings and the bandages and the cloth materials and ropes and things this is skull white um Iadon Darkson Yandon Darkson you'll see how it's spelled rather. and last and least Scabred okay so those were the colours and yeah also this is not a colour it's a square bottle um this is gloss varnish um gloss glue um glossy glue um it acts like varnish um i just picked it up today and um if you want to um make like the claws look like they're venomous or poisonous or whatever you can use this for the claws if not it's, it's your choice so this is optional this is not a have to so now we've gone through all the colors and various things and let's go so before I begin I would also like to mention that this is a video competition entry into girl painting 7000 subscribers um so yeah now let's get started for real so um for when you first start you want you want to build him obviously and then you want to prime him skull white so that white now um, I suggest you use the spray pipe primer to do this and you don't go with a paintbrush using this because it's it's just a lot more efficient if you have a spray primer skull white your choice um, then you want to cover it with a slight coating of astronomical grey which is right here so you want to kind of slightly coat it with that um, now when I say slightly coat it I mean thin it down, water it down a lot so it's kind of really watery so you see the um, white through it because that's going to help you especially when you put the batter black on and guess what that's the next stage batter black so make sure it's quite thin don't make it too too thin though so make sure you see some of the white showing through it but not too much of the white um, and um, yeah so don't make it too thick which is basically what I'm saying then for the then once you've done that um, also as you can see here I did little blotches of badder black to kind of emphasize the scars the sky has right here so I did as you can see I did more darker I did it darker there to kind of more emphasize the fact he has scars and scratches there but that's really up to you you can choose to do that or not I did but it's your choice again then what I did for these bindings was calcium brown which I will show you again in a moment when I find it here it is so that is for the bandages and bindings sometimes you see ropes as well holding um, skeletons to the backs and that will be painted in cat and brown as well um, then you can also wash this cat and brown which I did with bad of black I basically washed everything but you don't have to it doesn't make a huge difference if you want to really show the straps um, overlapping each other and stuff you can, or if you just want it to look more blended in, um, you don't have to put the batter black. I did. I basically tossed it around everywhere, but again, it's up to you. Depends what you want. Now, this is an important stage after the bindings because if you want yours to look very kind of um, unnatural, um, you can. <laughs> I use that word. Um, you can. Um, and you want it to look like this then um, 
This is when it's time for highlightation. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and when I mean highlight, I mean highlight with this. So water it down again, astronomic and grey, water it down again, and apply the highlights. So when I mean apply the highlights, do not put them in the recesses. Now, I repeat, do not put them in the recesses. So when I mean highlight, I mean highlight that, so all of that. Um, and that arm and that arm but when it bends or especially there do not highlight it when th that kind of shoulder blade meets the back the side or the back do not so only highlight the top part so you'll see um that the sunlight would hit if it was in the sunlight that is it w probably wouldn't be but anyway that's highlighting for you i didn't highlight it because i thought it looked more kind of creepy like that not really creepy but it would make your opponent look again and that's really what I wanted now once if you don't if you want to skip that then just go on with the scars and how you do that is you get a thicker amount of astronomical grey and you want to paint it over the scars so you'll see the scars there right and you just want to paint it over and then you want to slightly and then you want to wash it around it with batter black again to make that pl that area darker to kind of emphasize the fact he has scars um, if you don't skip that level and you do want to highlight it then I suggest you um, um, do the scars in a um, either bleed bone or um, skull white skull white mixed with a bit of um, denim stone to make it a bit softer so it looks more like a scar so it looks kind of white so it's like he's had it for a long time so yeah that's if you want to highlight it if you don't you just do what I said I will repeat myself I sound like a parrot don't I so I will repeat myself um, you want to go over it with a thicker coating of pure astronomical grey and then um, you want to around that as you can see what I did um, put more batter black to emphasize the fact he has scars so just around that area where the scars are batter black Whew, now once you've done that you probably want to go for the eyes um, and the pimples now this is when um, for the eyes this is you will need I forgot to mention for the um, pupils if you want pupils if you want to make them look really creepy don't put pupils in just put a white just put white with no black dot because that's just really gonna look really creepy trust me um, but if you want pupils, um, I forgot to mention you need chaos black. Any black will do, but chaos black, it's, it's just basically black. So you put black, um, dot. A good tip when you are doing fine detail work like that, you, um, put both hands on the table so you steady yourself and then you quickly dab it. But, yeah, so I don't know if you can see, but I actually did put kind of eyeballs in there. I don't know if you can see. But, yeah, I definitely put eyeballs in there. And, yeah, so I didn't want that kind of crazed staring look. So, yeah. Now, whew, once you've done that, then you'll probably want to go for the pimples. Now, he's got a lot of pimples. Um, I'm going to show you examples. Those are pimples those are pimples he's got a pimple on his butt huh, that was funny um he's got them in various places on his legs and yeah on his leg on his thigh so he's got them in various places a lot of them have them in fact all of them have a pimple pimples of some sort now doing the pimples you want to first use the scab red to cover the pimple dot so you want to color the pimple dot itself with scab red so color that dot 
the scabbard. Then you want to mix a and dark sun and bleached bone and a tiny 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 touch now really a tiny touch of scab red to make a kind of unhealthy pus looking color it would be better if you mix talon flesh and rotting flesh together that makes a really nice pus look but since I didn't have it on me and it the GW Games Workshop was closed I thought well why don't I just make my own colours up so I did but if you have rotting flesh and talon flesh that's ideal mix those together and you'll get a really nice colour but anyway that's what I may do so mix those colours together I will repeat myself bleached bone and eandon dark sun um, and a tiny touch of scab red now when I mean tiny I mean barely enough to fit on your paintbrush just barely enough to fit on the tip of your paintbrush so you get a kind of you see a slight tinge of reddy pink but not a lot and then you want to just put a tiny dot of that come on focus and we are clear um, you want to just put it in the center and um, of the scab red where you put the pimples okay now once that's done you want to go for the what do you call it codex grey or fortress grey in my case I am using fortress grey as you can see and you want to add some skull white to it okay so you want to kind of add some skull white yeah Okay. Sorry, that was my um um food like dinner time call. Anyway, um I'm going to ignore that and I will go back to what was I saying? Oh yeah. Fortress grey and skull white. Um Yeah, that's mi mixed together. To make the hairs on the back here see on the back want to focus yeah on the back there now then once you do that you want to have a quick wash of badder black and um, then to highlight if you want to be really fancy use the same mix of skull white and fortress grey to highlight the top parts like I did here so you still see the recesses with badder black but you kind of it's lighter you know okay you apply it to here as well so and on his arm there okay now the teeth you probably want to paint in skull white and then wash it down with bad of black again but I didn't wash it down so I've just got skull white so yeah whew, what a mouthful and that is pretty much it. I forgot also to mention some of them have chains or metal parts. You want to paint these in bolt gun metal. B-O-L-T-G-U-N and then metal. Um, okay, so I think I've finished my tutorial. And yeah, I will be seeing you soon. Whew. And yeah. All you need to do now is, well, if you followed my instructions, you should get something like this. Something like what I have. I didn't do the claws yet, but too bad. So, yeah, then you just need to do the base, and you're finished completely. And in terms of, never mind about the base, in terms of look here, you should get something like me if you followed my instructions. Um, If you don't get it, just like mine it would be because sometimes when I did mine the colors I measured were you might not measure them completely like I did and stuff but that doesn't matter you should look something like that and yeah I hope that this was helpful to you and that um, you will be painting lots of vampire counts crypt ghouls in the future so Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you in my next
tutorial which will be da, 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 vampire count skeletons okay see you